Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Miss Kitty Catty MT. Today, I'll be doing another juicing video. And in this video, I'll be doing three different kinds of juices. I'll be doing a green juice, I'll be doing an orange juice, and I will be doing a red juice. What's in the green juice? Well, we have celery, cucumbers, apples, lemons, lime, and ginger. In the orange juice, we have orange, carrot, pineapple, ginger, and in the red juice, we have beet, oranges, lemons, and ginger. So each drink will have ginger in it. Um, on my last vlog, I talked about juicing kale, and today I'll show you um, how much juice a bunch of kale can, just a hand bunch, I think it's, a, I guess it's two bunches, um, how much two bunches of kale can yield in juice. So because my mom wants some of this juice, and when she comes over, I wanna ha be able to have her, be able to taste some juice. She has an apple allergy. So the first juice we're gonna start off with is our orange juice. That way she can taste that one. And then we'll do green, and then we'll do red. All right, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, as you can see, I have everything already chopped, cleaned thoroughly, and ready to go. Um, this is my green juice. I'm not gonna start with that one. Along with the kale that's been washed and cleaned thoroughly several times. Um, this is the, the carrots, the pineapple, ginger, oranges, lemon are inside this one. And for the red, everything has been cut and cleaned and ready to go. And I'll be doing blueberries inside of the beet juice. So, let's get started. Let's get in a good angle. So, I think this is a good angle for you to be able to see the pulp coming out of this spout. And of course, this is what the juice will be coming out. So let's turn it on. And like I said, not too loud. You know, I've been watching a lot of juicing videos and I've seen that a lot of these juices are very, very loud. And as you can see, my kids have been clean, skinned, and they're ready to go. So let's get started. better angle perfect. So that's our first carrot. Pulp coming out, as you can see it's flying out of there. And it's super duper dry. I try not to load my ink machine too much because it is an inexpensive juicer and I would love to keep it as long as I can. Won't spill none of the juice because I've been watching a lot of juicing videos and I've been seeing them spill juice. They still spill the juice. Sending me on the tailspin. Got me in the house screaming. Okay, and so far that's 100 milliliters of juice from the carrot. And I think I did six carrots again. I really like that recipe. My daughter, she loved that recipe. And we're starting this new thing where we wake up, we drink water with a little bit of lemon or a little bit of lime in it to alkalize the, wa to alkalize the water, to give us the minerals that we need. And then we start eating around noon. eating at noon. We'll have a, a nice kale salad. Uh, maybe all the amenities, all the salad trimmings. And what? What you like to put in yours? So she likes tofu, chickpeas, and, and all those different things in her salad. So 
and we're off to the pineapple, as you can see. And that carrot had only yielded 150. Let that go. And I thought I was able to just drop these pineapple chunks down, but it looked like they're a little bit too big. So I got my paring knife out. help downside some of these things. But I left it long. I also have mango, I forgot to say that. I cut and cleaned the mango. So we do have that. Maybe say, I don't wanna get chopped up. Mama say, get in there. <laughs> okay. So I think the rest can sit in the back. That's the mango. Woo! I'm glad I looked at the Pope. Why y'all ain't tell me? Girl, your Pope about to spill over. It's not like I can hear you anyway. Mango still, still more mango. More mango, more mango. That's the ginger, we're gonna wait on that. So, that looks like that 32 milliliters of juice. Coming in, coming out. Pineapple juice, so much juice, I love that. I went to the grocery store and bought three pineapples and left them out on my counter so they could continue ripening. Um, that's sun kissed orange. Got some tangerines today. Also. Look at all this pulp just dipping out. All right, tangerine oranges. Drop them in the back. And that's almost 300 milliliters of juice out of that. Out of the oranges and the lemons and the limes and the pineapple. Well, the lemons, the limes, and Thing. Got people want the fruit. If 
the box stand is going to be proof. Now, what's the proof of being in there? If they give me the proof. So, because we add a thousand milliliters of juice off that first juice, I'm going to get a. The coke is still coming out. The juice is at capacity. I'm going to get um, a pitcher. All of this good juice, we're going to transfer all of this good juice into this kitchen. I have several pictures because I'm doing several different juices. I cut my Screwed up off camera because it's a lot of work. Like the last time, it took me like 20 minutes to do it. This time, it took me like an hour to cut all the food I wanted for. And now I got some ginger going in there and the juice. Oh, it's getting out a lot of good juice. From that ginger, I love that sea hat. And look how dry it is, like it did not play. So, even though it's not a very expensive um, juicer, it does get the job done. It literally gets the job done. And they're like, lean that over, like, let me get all that. All oh, that goodness, all that ginger goodness. And if you seen that little piece of ginger, you see how much juice came out of that? Come on now, stop playing with it. So what I like to do is, I like to drink out the jar. And I'm gonna go to my next green, if I go to the green machine because the orange has been done and you won't get any, she won't even have any apple um, transfer to her juice. She can take all the good stuff that I'm talking about. Okay, so let's start with the celery. And I like to leave my leaves going. I know people cut it off because they say, oh, it's bitter. Baby, I don't taste it. I don't taste no bitterness. I just taste all goodness. That's all I say. And my daughter hasn't complained, so we're gonna keep doing it. We want all the nutrients. We want it all. And you can tell I've been cutting for a while because look at my apple. It started going. Like this, you better start this juicing process. Oh, what's that? Oh, I did uh, have some pineapple for this. That pineapple be so sweet and good in these juices, let me tell you. So I use that as like another juicing uh, sweetening agent. My, although I do have the apple, I still um, like to add the pineapple also. I watched a lot of uh, good, great recipes from people all over the world. And it's a lot of people juicing, like all nationalities. Everybody, it's like a switch hit off on everybody. We all know it's time to get healthy. It's time to change the way we eat, the food here in America is changing. 
And instead of getting upset and mad about it, you gotta pivot and change with it. You gotta do your do, you gotta do your big one. You try to change with it, child. And what I like about today when I'm cleaning them, the apples and everything off and I did the um, baking soda and vinegar bath, I could see all the wax coming off of the apples. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. Got the apples looking ashy. I mean, that's their natural look, you know? Um, growing up in the Carolinas, we had an apple tree. Um, in our backyard, and we just go back there and get the apples straight off the tree. And then we would go and rinse them off, and they would, they would not be shiny like the store would. Oh, I got a lot of juice in there. I got a lot of juice in there. So this is the time where we're about to see how they enter this machine. Oh, it's still coming out. Woo! Baby girl. That was a lot of juice. I let it go up too tall. I was talking too much. Even the pulp stopped coming out. Like, baby, what are you doing? Right? Blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. I gotta still remember to pay attention. So yeah, the apple trees, we used to go back there and get them and they were never shiny anyway. They was always looking at you. So I know what I'm doing is right. Then I did the cucumbers this time. I didn't keep the skin on them. Even though these are organic cucumbers and I couldn't have the skin on them. I'm just learning a lot of things step by step, like other um, other uh, juicers people are doing. So taking the skin off, but it, because it was organic, I should have left it on. But we're not going to cry over spilled milk. We're just not going to. Yes, I juice the seeds and the stem. I juice it all. I mean, I had juice all the way up here, honey. Y'all ain't see me. But I still didn't spill nothing over. So that's another good thing about, uh, that's another good thing about the Timu juicer. It didn't like start spilling off the sides like I started seeing other people's juices in the, um, in the past. It would just spill over. And then you like, damn, all that juice. But no, it kept it inside, it did its thing. This one, cucumber, I'm gonna do the kale last, and I'm gonna make sure I transfer to a different picture. I'm gonna transfer to a different picture. Okay. We had 200 milliliters. The cucumbers are so good, so hydrating. Gotta love them. I love them in my salad. I have a lot of cucumbers in my refrigerator.
three lines I chose. Three lines. And it looks like we're at 300 milliliters. So we're going to let it go. Woo! Well, just know we had a thousand milliliters. We had a thousand now. A lot of people talk about taking a pump off the top. And uh, baby, that's just a little bit of air. That's a little bit of air from the juice machine. I'm not getting rid of that. Give me all mine. Give me me. Give it to me. And then I got some ginger for it. I'm gonna make these smaller. I feel like ginger should be in every juice. <laughs> Wow, I'll cut through that seam. That's, well, these knives are sharp. I love them. And last but not least, the kale. The kale. Look how dry that ginger pulp is. Mmm. Spicy! the deal. It came to spice the life. Alright, so let's go. Put the kale in the front. Come on, Annie. Don't give me no more time. That's right. Yes, I'll be doing it from the back, baby. And I don't want no hard time. And they kill so small, you can just ball it up and push it down. So. Remember, I said a bunch of kill. I guess this is. I do do stems sometimes if the stems look good, but if they don't, baby, no. I take that, that kill right off them, that stem. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing that. When I used to go to my grandma's house, 
be in the kitchen cooking. We sitting there watching. Watching her roll out flour on the table and make biscuits from scratch. Doing her big one, child. Making beef cobbler. She was from Gastonia, North Carolina. And she came and moved up here. Baby, that lady was cooking. Then she was doing her big So now I just want to show you guys the green juice. This is how much the kale. You need about 150. So that was like two bunches of kale. Two hand bunches. And it yielded about 150 milliliters. And look, I'm talking about squeeze the life out of it. Now, let's go incorporate the two our green juice. You see how green it made it? Oh my God. Green, green, green. Let's go to that one. And I'm just gonna go over to the counter, rinse this out. And start on my red juice. So yeah, I was telling y'all how well it gets all the juice out the kale, and I told y'all how amazing that was. That's why I really, really am impressed with this, this juicer because it was like $80, y'all. $80 dollars. And last but not least, my beet juice. I love beet, y'all. I love that dirt taste. I love it. I don't have no complaints. Yeah. The leaves are organic, so I don't have to take the skin off of them because I want all that dirt taste. And I know y'all probably gonna be like, girl. Oh uh, yes, how can I help you? This is how I do it. You do it the way you want when you start turning the juice. Oh, it's doing this big. This big. that? I mean squeezing it. And just, what was that? Two beats yielded almost a hundred milliliters of juice. I mean, it did it good. Look how red that is. That's how you know it's good for you. Sorry, didn't mean to turn you off, baby. That's how you know it's good for you, though. It's blood, baby. Sorry, can you say bloody shoes? You hear that? It's 
crushing that bitch. They trying to get every last bit. I think 
my review on the T Moo juicer has went to a new level. Like I really pushed that juicer today and it it's still hung in there. It still got everything done and I'm like still appreciative for the person who purchased it for me. And I'm just telling you guys, if you want to get an inexpensive juicer, go ahead and hate on the T Moo. I'm not being paid by Timu. I'm just telling you how you can start your juicing journey without paying $500, $200 for a juicer. Now, the juicer that I really want is the Nam J2. So, that's my next juicer. So, that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? Do your research, the Nam J2, and you will understand why I want that juicer. Um, I started with the Timu juicer. It's already been rinsed clean and everything is drying in the drain and I just gotta take the base over and you know, I like to wipe it down and make sure I keep it clean also. But just wanted to show you the last thing. This was the juice from um, my first juice. And this mason jar will last me and my daughter for two days. She likes a lot of water. You want to taste it? Yeah. You want to do a shot? Okay, she wants to do a shot. And It's lunchtime in our house, so she is making her cat salad. And I'm just finishing up on this stuff that I did. It kind of tastes like the orange soda. Oh, wow. Okay, great. All right. Here's the green. The green machine. I like to give a different kind of, you know, different choices for what you want, or whatever day you're feeling like you feel. And I'm gonna have to work on my beef recipe. Uh, figuring out how to expand it, probably uh, add some pineapple to it to give it a little bit more, you know, juice inside, so. These are the babies. So. This is it. Thanks again for coming by and checking out me doing the kale, because that was the whole reason for this whole juicing um, video today. Show you guys the kale, and if you like what I've done, like my video, subscribe to my channel. Got a lot of new things coming along. I do a lot of things, actually. I'm a realtor. <laughs> um, I make t-shirts, I have a t-shirt press in here, I use a cricket machine. Um, I make Shay and lip gloss. So yeah, I'm just a busy little bee. Like they say, idle hands is a devil's workshop. And I don't wanna be helping the devil do anything. Well, thanks again for coming by. See you guys in the next one. Bye.